about to work. Okay. Come bring those luscious lips over here. Let me give you some sugar so I can think about those lips while I'm working. get anybody to help you today? Nah, I couldn't find any help. Honey. You just can't get any good help now, Dave. You know how I hate when you work by yourself. It's dangerous. It's so dangerous. However, if you don't have any help today, that means, it means I wonder if you might possibly be able to make some extra time for these luscious lips before you leave. Mm, I'll make time, baby. Mm. Mm. All right. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm ready for work now, baby. I'm kind of glad that you didn't have some help first thing this morning. I'll tell you what, you sure know how to make a man want to come home. Mm. 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 That's my plan. Maybe we can make this a double feature. <laughs> mm, I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you in a while. I'll be careful, okay? Fire I'll be waiting. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. And I'll write the dreams of my life. <laughs> Have you ever had a dream, one that you sat around and thought about all day? Friends tell you to give up, quit dreaming. Well, everybody needs a dream. Chasing your dreams ain't always easy, but the journey, well, that's what you call living. First, I'm going to introduce you to our sweet, though naive, Patsy Joe. Queen. Would you hurry up, Patsy? Okay, I'm coming. 
Now, you met Daniel a little while ago, and he sure is thankful that God sent his guardian angel to get that mobile home off of him. It's such a miracle. He got out with just a few scratches. Lord, don't ever let fear stand between me and my dreams. When circumstances knock me flat on my back, let that just be an opportunity to rest so that I can get up the next day and come up fighting. Yeah, freedom. Freedom to dream. Yeah, that's success. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dream, and I'm gonna dream big. Well, here is Mr. Melvin Maloney. He is certainly a character, but you'll find out more about him soon enough. So I'll just let you wonder for a while. Once upon a time, there was a little blonde-haired girl. Her name was Sophia. Sophia began singing before she could even talk very well. She sang her first solo in church, her big debut, at age two. Sophia loved singing. She realized she could harmonize at a very young age, and she cut her first record at age eight. She sang her little heart out. About 12 years old, heading into the teen years, she began to pray for a husband, even though she had no idea who that might be. Dear Jesus, wherever he is, please let him be able to sing. Please let him be able to sing harmonies, play instruments, and sing with me. Here is Sophia all grown up. She married a wonderful man and loved him with all of her heart. They sang together. They sang in everything from weddings to family reunions. Everywhere there was ears to hear, Sophia and Daniel might be found singing. Her prayers were already being answered. Sophia wanted to not only sing other artists' songs, she wanted to sing her own song. Sophia begins to pray. You've given me these talents. You've given me these gifts. And I'm looking to you. Take me where you want me to go. Open the doors for me that no man can shut. She is ready for her big break. Ready to sing her songs to the world. Yes, ready or not, big world. Here comes Sophia. The sky is the limit. 